And guys, I'm really good to show you my pet, so this is my one pet. It's not going to be able to show the cats. It's like this. You make it up because I don't see people are yelling. I have to turn off the TV because there's some copyrighted music and I didn't do this video again. So that kind of sucks. Since there's no sing the signal because I turned the TV off. There's a voice in the background that's not music. And then that was Hey guys. Um, the dog got up. I mean the food. I think it goes on the table. I'm gonna go upstairs. So, that's the video I made. It's about a tiny RC car I made with a suspension. It was only two wheel drive. Bummer. But, got the right pieces. And I actually got a lot of pieces. They're my new pieces. Um, I. If you're going to ask, yes, I did make a transmission and uh, a gears for it. This has, here's a clutch. Here's the clutch piece. Sadly, I had to use one of the pieces for the axles on the front. They have the brakes and the inside. It's four-wheel drive when you turn it on. These are Lego power functions. This servo mode is brand new. What's good about a servo motor instead of these two motors is because the servo motor, um, the servo motor helps it steer and it realigns. Watch. It goes back and it realigns itself. Probably my favorite part is these CV joints right here. I think if they're called CV joints, I don't remember. Um, it's not, it's all wheel drive, it's just kind of zero wheel drive because the front wheel doesn't spin unless you turn it on. That also means that I have to hook up these two motors at the same point. So it's like, at one point I hooked them up wrong and stuff, so I had to rewire them. So basically, I put the other motor uh, into the steering motor where, the, where it was on the receiver. So, whenever I hit the steering button, it would steer. It's not very good at off-roading yet. Okay. It's stuck. Oh, it might have started so far. I don't know what's wrong. Let me see if it's actually disconnected. Oh. Okay. It doesn't have suspensions, but for some reason it can bend. It can bend, and it can go over obstacles. I actually, I actually ran over this Lego car that I modified a little bit, like even only a little bit. I modified the axle, and then the wheels. The wheels are different now. So yeah, I put some bigger wheels on the back so it looks like a drag racing car. I can put bigger wheels on. I just don't really want to. Also, uh, me and my friend were playing with it. I and I uh, we. And I thought no, I was going to crash into it, so I told him not to. I also rode my dirt bike. I might be able to show you guys that. I don't have a GoPro. This is all I record with. My iPad. Wait, wait. All I record with is this, my iPad. My dad does have a GoPro, but, he pro but I don't know how to hook one up because I use an iPad. It, it probably won't work. And my dad would probably say no because it's a snowmobile. It's for a snowmobile. And they're really expensive. He bought two of them. They're like one, like one thousand dollars each. I don't really remember. So, this steering motor. I forgot who it made. Who made it? It's not mine though. It's not original. Let me make that clear. I did not make this. I did not make the steering. It's completely unoriginal. I put some few. Th I put a few things on it, so it's a bit um different. But it's, it's, it's most of it is unoriginal. I, this servo motor is like brand, brand, like really, really new. I just got it in the mail yesterday. And I built this yesterday and I hooked it up to this. Yes, it's, it completely works. It just doesn't have suspension. 
Also, I may I actually should have showed you guys this. But what is um I really hope I didn't give any damage back. Um what I'm trying to find is a special piece. Oh here it is. Just so you know. I got some I also got some C V joints in the mail. And this also came in the mail a few days ago. This is the drive shaft for the all-wheel drive. So there's either going to be one or two motors connecting to the top of this. Usually it's for steering. This is straight from a Lego Technic Extreme Venture. Like, basically everything. And what it does is this. You sp the motor spins up here. What it does have trouble with is putting, it to putting the power to the axles. The servo motor is going to sit right there. I hope it's about this long. I don't have a fender type for it, so I'm going to have to make my own. And that's going to be kind of hard to make four of them, though. Yeah, I need some smaller fenders. One sec. These are the tiny little fenders I wish I could use, but I can't because they're for McLaren. One of my favorite Lego sets, all time favorite. It's a McLaren Lego set, it's really cool. Now, what I call this, it's not an actual, this isn't a real prototype, this is just a custom prototype. I made it myself. It's not very complicated at all. Let me put the McLaren fenders back. Pretty sure those are fenders, not mud guards. I don't know why uh, a car like that would have a mud guard. This is a cool little drag racing car. It's not custom. I just put two wheels on the back. That's basically the only thing is two bigger wheels on the back. That's the only thing that makes it custom. My four wheeler wasn't working. I wish I could use that. This boots. Bootsy. Come here. He, he'll go in if he wants. He's, he's been around the door. Let's get him. Hi, boots. Here he is. He's rubbing his face against the, my iPad now. He won't do it to the camera. He likes to do it to the corners. He, he's the one who wears drinks as a scary cat. Literally, she's scared of everything. And this, I don't know why I picked that up. I'm probably gonna get a T Max for Christmas. Traxxas T Max. Uh, hopefully, saying Traxxas isn't copyright. I don't think it is. I don't know much about YouTube. Uh, I used to know a lot, I just forgot because I haven't done that so long. Here's my RC car, again. So it's actually, there are actually two motors in the middle. I didn't finish my sentence for some reason. Sometimes I just forget to finish my sentence. It's really weird. Sentences, it's really weird. And I've caught, I, I have to explain why I said sentences two times, because that sounded weird. I said sentences two times because Okay, now I just I just had a brain fart, so whatever, just forget about that. It's kind of cringe. Cringe. I don't know if cringe is slang or not. It's kind of confusing. Cringe. I don't know how to cringe. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know. I don't know anything. Seriously. Okay. This, I call it like the the jumping spider set because it kind of reminds me of a jumping spider, like a tarantula or something. How they have like this is the where the web comes out. I don't know much about spiders. I like spiders. I just don't know much about them. This is where the web comes out, and like this is their legs. It kind of reminds me of a jumping spider. Tarantulas have have kind of look like an ant because this is just flat down instead. So it reminds me of a jumping spider. 
So I def so I finally managed to fix the controls where you'd actually have to press backwards to go forwards. I also made a two-wheel drive monster truck that you wouldn't want to see because it's such an eyesore. Literally, I I could barely look I could barely look at it. It was garbage. It did have suspension though. The motors were going there, and one motor was for steering only. The wheel kept on breaking. It you had to recalibrate it m manually, which because I didn't have a servo motor at that point, it was really really annoying. I hated it. It's really bad. It, it was an actual eyesore. The monster truck the monster truck tires were too small. The suspension was too stiff to crawl over anything. The gear was too high. At one point, I had the gear so high that it couldn't even climb up this slanted of a hill. This slant. It couldn't climb up it. It struggled. Which, how I figured that out, I tried climbing up my grandma's road, which is which is pretty steep at one point, but then it gets like this. Really, really flat, like this. It couldn't climb up it. It looks steep, but it's like... Like, it's like, more like this. Ours goes up, down, and then up. It's kind of weird. This... This is four-wheel drive, and it has a one-to-one -one gear ratio. I don't know much more gear ratios than one-to-one. -one. My favorite part is probably seeing these CV joints move. For some reason, it's oddly satisfying. Especially when it's moving. Also, it makes, it sounds like a robot. Also, if you were paying close attention, you could actually see this yellow part right here moving. Okay, um, quit the board and stuff. I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna drive it up here because my dad's working. I do have a treadmill though. I can turn it on to see how 